Thank you. And first, one quick personal note. I talk about you guys behind your backs, always have, whenever I get a chance. But now that I've got you all under one roof, let me say a big thank you for what you do to make an actor's career. Thank you. Mm, from my heart. I'm here to present the Patty Chayefsky Laurel Award for television, and I'm sure I don't have to remind this audience how honored and revered Patty Chayefsky was. All that wonderful work she did in movies and television. <laughs> the miracle worker and, and that adorable sitcom in the 60s where she played both herself and, and her cousin. <laughs> Patty must have changed her name to Duke for show business, but I mean, where was she going with Chayefsky? I wasn't aware of this, but backstage they told me she also wrote the Academy Award winning screenplays for Marty and The Hospital and Network. Yep, I'm just as surprised as you are. They also tried to tell me backstage that Patty Chayefsky was a guy. <laughs> Boy, shows how much they know. So, now, the WGA gives out a Patty Chayefsky Laurel Award for advancing the literature of television and making outstanding contributions to the profession of the television writer. Tonight's recipient of this wonderful award began her remarkable career by selling a teleplay to the short-lived series Then Came Bronson. Producer Gary Marshall then brought her on to Love American Style, which led to writing assignments on All in the Family. Oh, I love that show. She also went on to help create Maud, for which B. Arthur and all the rest of the world is deeply grateful. And numerous other unique and bitingly funny shows with strong female characters, including The Golden Girls. <laughs> uh, for which B and Rue and Estelle and I will always be grateful. Let's take a look at some of the work of this wonderful woman. It is a great pleasure and a privilege for me to present a brilliant writer who, aside from creating memorable characters and groundbreaking situations, changed the face of primetime television. And she always made sure that we girls were never at a loss for words. Please welcome the recipient of the Patty Chayefsky Laurel Award for Television, Susan Harris. <laughs> Betty again. They said there was going to be a podium. <laughs> I was blessed with wonderful actors who took my words and made them much better, even when they didn't say them exactly the way I wrote them. Everyone knows how exhausting working on a television series can be. But you can't do it alone. And over the years, I've worked with many wonderful writers, some of whom are here tonight, Mitch and Jimmy. You're all responsible for this award. There were nights working, I'd be so tired, I'd say, this is good enough, they'll make it work. And one of my partners, Tony Thomas, would say, this is not good enough, rewrite it. So I would. And then he'd say, not funny. So, Tony, thank you. Thank you for making it much better and much funnier. And more importantly, thank you for being family. And to my other partner, Paul Witt, who really is family because I married him, I couldn't have done it without you. Uh, when we started working together 30 years ago, I said I'll never work with anyone else, and I never have. Uh, I could You're so smart. You're so talented. You're so inspired, 
and you also happen to be the love of my life. To my sons, Ollie and Sam, you are my happiest achievements to the extent that I had anything to do with it. And to the Writers Guild, to use a word that's overused at this time of year, honor. It's a great honor to be mentioned in the same sentence as Patty Chayefsky. Practically everybody says, the FedEx guy, the dentist, oh, you're a writer. I would do that if I had the time. <laughs> There's something that seems so easy about writing. And only you know it's not so easy. Only you know how hard it really can be. So coming from you tonight, coming from writers, this is a huge honor. It's absolutely gigantic, and I thank you so very, very much. Thank you.